What's up guys, welcome back to welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're actually working with our brand new 328. Now I know, I know you guys definitely want to start seeing some content with some new builds on the channel. We just pretty much wrapped up the E92M3, but we're actually with some modifications and possibly a wrap for the E92M3 to make that thing look so, so, so much better. But in the meantime, I don't know if you guys saw gas prices. I was in the right track with the BMW i3 before gas prices like literally went up like crazy. Um, but unfortunately, I kept on thinking about my i3. I'm like, should I pull it back out of the auction? The, the, the bad news is, is that the frame damage is so, so, so bad that I honestly don't think it's cost effective. I think getting rid of it is definitely the right move and then probably getting another i3, if anything, from like straight from the dealer if I wanted to go like full electric. I just don't think like rebuilding that one in particular is the right move, but uh, um, anywho, on a different note, i3s, I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon, um, but uh, yeah, actually I don't know if it's gonna happen. If anything, we should daily an i8 on the channel because you can get those on Copar for like 30, like 30K, which is kind of crazy. That would be a sick daily. But anywho, we are with the actual daily, the realistic daily, the BMW 328 and this car honestly um i drove it to stockton and back to roseville and back today and that's probably a total of like three and a half hours and i'm only like like a quarter into the tank like i'm saying no nah, i'd say about a third a third um into the tank i saw like two thirds left so honestly, this guy, this car right here is not bad whatsoever. So my goal is I've been trying to wash this car for the longest time. I've heard it actually has really good paint underneath all this dirt, but I couldn't actually check because if I wash it, we will flood the entire interior. The entire, the, the carpet itself does smell really, really, really bad. It does smell like water has been sitting in the car. So I cannot wait to rip out those carpets, but there's no point to replace the carpets if you haven't fixed the problem. The problem is, is the draining port. So my goal is to probably actually remove the full headliner, all the eight pillars, get all that stuff out of the car, and then right where the drain ports are, I'm gonna shove one of these things in there and try to, you know, just cake out anything that's in there, try to shove it in there, and if we can't get it out that way, probably get like an air compressor or something and just blow it in there, and uh, yeah. Now on some YouTube videos, people actually put an air compressor right here. My, the logic to that is though, you actually have a plastic tube that's literally only just like nippled on there, so if I feel like I press air in there, it's gonna blow it off anyway so I need to read the headline it to go directly from this little nipple piece here so we could directly just like air compress it down and then hopefully it'll pop out of there and then we're all gravy in the Navy the air compressor should do the trick but we're gonna try to do it the cheap way honestly I need an air compressor I don't know how, what, how I've been doing all this car stuff without an air compressor but if this doesn't work, air compressor is the next idea. So without further ado, let's go ahead and rip out this headliner and uh, all this sun visor stuff and everything here so we can actually get to those little two pieces there. Guys, one of you guys are the absolute legend. So I'm actually messaging this guy right now. He just sent me a video. Um, I couldn't honestly figure out how to get the drain ports to pretty much get unclogged. Um, obviously, removing the headliner is one way. Blowing air through the top is one way. But obviously, most times, it's not really clogged from the top. If it's all cleared up up there, it's most likely clogged from the bottom. Pretty much, it's been like piling up and then just clogged on the bottom tube and it can't actually get out. Um, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and work from the bottom because that is the easier way. Let's go ahead and do that first. If there's nothing on the bottom, there's no way to get anything out of the bottom, um, then we're gonna have to move the headliner because there's actually two rear drain ports and two front drain ports. Um, if your front carpets are wet, that is your front drain ports. And then underneath the rear seats, if that's wet, that's your rear drain ports, um, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my rear seats, make sure there's no water back there. If there's no water back there, our rear drain parts are good. And hopefully, hopefully we don't have to move the headliner at all. And we just have to clear it up from the bottom there. I hope this video helps some of you guys. If you has have this issue, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Guys, these carpets, I don't know if you guys can hear that. These carpets are completely shot. Definitely gonna have to get some new carpets in here. Let's go ahead and pull this up. See if there's any water back here. Ugh, buddy, come on. Ah, oh, Nor, you gotta hit the gym again, bro. What are you doing? Come on, man. It's embarrassing. Hold up. All right, guys. I just pulled that up. Do I see any water in here? That's the question. Okay, hold on. Let me fill up in there. Okay, it doesn't really feel wet. Let me go ahead and keep filling all the way in there. If I feel any wetness, that's going to kind of suck. All right, good news. Uh, the rear seats was not wet whatsoever, so I'm hoping that's not going to be an issue. So I think the first, th the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is just jack up the car and uh, see if I can get that drain plug uh, unclogged. Guys, moment of truth. I really hope this works. All right, guys. So after pretty much loosening up this pan right here, um, this right here is what I think. Oh, oh dear heavens, that is clogged, guys. So yeah, I need to get something in there and pretty much unclog that. That is crazy clogged. Okay. So that's definitely affecting our issue right now. Let me go ahead and try to see. 
Oh, dear heavens. Let's see if we can clear that out. Yes, guys. That is what I'm talking about. Come on, we need more, dude. So as you guys saw, that actually somewhat worked. It got some of the water out there. Now when I put water up there, it's going straight to that side because of the way the car is inclined. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and lower it here, jack it up from the other side the same way I did to this side, and probably try to put as much water as possible. If it floods the interior, that's one thing, but just trying to unclog these with water. I feel like with more water flow, it should get more of the dirt out. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jack it up from the other side and do the exact same thing. It looks like this is working, and I'm so, so, so happy. I call that, guys, a mission success. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Shout out to one of you guys for reaching out to me about that. I literally couldn't find it anywhere on YouTube. Like, literally, if you type in the exact words, E92 sunroof, like, clog or whatever, so many different searches, I couldn't find it. So shout out to one of you guys for actually reaching out to me. You guys saw his Instagram. I'm going to throw it back up there. So shout out to that guy right there for pretty much saving my life. So I was able to avoid actually removing the headliner, which is an absolutely huge plus. And it looks like everything's gravy in the Navy now. So I'm going to go ahead and rebutton everything. Tomorrow morning, we're going to get this car around. Out, give it its first wash and show you guys how this thing looks and for my first time how the paint condition actually is he told me it's in pretty good shape so I'm just so stoked for it guys let's go ahead and get everything buttoned up and put this back on the ground and guys this is day two we are heading to the car wash now I know I have a power washer at the house but uh, this car wash does a really good job I need to get some soap so I figured might as well give it his first car wash at the car wash place because it looks really dope. And then uh, hopefully the next couple of car washes will be done at the house. But yeah, guys, I cannot wait to see this. Hopefully no water leaks through the roof or anything like that. And uh, everything's gravy in the Navy because if we get this stuff sorted, we can start with the modifications. I really wanted to get it right. Trying to find some balance in my life. I never really put up a fight. And now I'm losing sleep. just got back inside the car and god bless these carpets are dry so thankfully our trick actually worked from the beginning of this video so if you guys are having problems where water gets inside of your car or ever end up picking a car where water is getting inside of your full bars because my brother's car actually had a really big issue where all of his carpets end up flooding and apparently it's because there's two little things in the bottom of the car that gets clogged and yeah the rear seats are good front seats are good Guys, all we need is new carpets. You might, be, might as well throw in some new seats as well. I mean, I'm probably gonna get some M3 seats coming soon, guys. Like, I'm serious. I wanna make this the best daily on this channel I've ever made. So, uh, anywho, at this point, let's go ahead and dry up the car. I wanna see how the paint looks. Uh, probably put some tire shine on here and just make it look as good as possible. Listen to me 
officially back home so right behind me inside the garage let's just say I actually found some good deals on some M parts um, some from my boy Nick my, my boy Nick did, did get an E93 um, so we actually got some M parts from that car and then uh, we actually got some other M parts from another M car which is absolutely insane this is gonna have pretty much a full M3 interior from like top to bottom I'm gonna be trying to retrofit every single thing into this car so when you sit inside it feels very luxurious like an M car and all that good stuff so for a daily Every time I get into this, I get to enjoy it, not wasting the gas money, because you guys know, um, yeah, gas prices are crazy right now, like literally $6.50, $7 a gallon. So having a daily that feels really nice and luxurious is gonna be a huge plus. And then obviously when I wanna enjoy the M3, we got the M3, just right now, uh, yeah, that 12 MPG is not really the way to go. This baby's getting 22, so um, yeah. If we could actually get a nice interior and everything in there dialed, it's gonna be looking absolutely insane. Plus, I actually ordered some body panels coming in for this thing. So again, this thing is gonna look absolutely insane. It's just a daily. It's not gonna be the main build on the channel, but I figured in the meantime, um, while I'm waiting to get a new build, because I'm not gonna rush the next build, I'm gonna try to find the right build. We're gonna try to make this thing absolutely beautiful as the daily on the channel. I'm just so, so, so stuck. I mean, this thing, honestly, I've been driving it like crazy. I'm so happy that the water didn't end up getting inside the car the carpets are super dry and actually just to double check on um, the previous owner did tell me that possibly water actually gets in the glove box as well there's nothing yeah the carpets are dry yeah glove box guys is dry so that is a huge plus i'm so 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 happy can't wait to actually get some new carpets we're gonna be trying to get some new carpets this monday in this car obviously like i said new seats probably a new steering wheel new trim um new everything guys i'm gonna even try to get a new headline i'm gonna try to do everything to this car as much as possible but yeah guys after the wash the car is looking so 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 good we we also threw on tire shine got to do that but check that out guys for a daily i think this thing looks stunning and let's just say uh this bumper um is not here to stay it's definitely going to be replaced in the near future just because i'm not a fan i'm not m sport i mean look at the difference in these rear bumpers i'm not going to be slapping on an m3 style rear bumper just because i think that looks super tacky definitely going to be going with an m sport for the rear just trying to find a good deal on ebay people are selling for like five six hundred dollars i think there is like no more um like even keys motorsports i don't think he's even selling that my other company souvenir is not selling that either um so i have to find that somewhere else side skirts we got the m3 side skirts i think i actually dig them i might leave that on there and as for the front bumper until i find a good deal we are going to be repping the m3 style front bumper it doesn't look too bad i kind of dig it guys look how good that looks honestly all cleaned up this thing looks stunning but yeah guys hopefully in the next video i'm going to be trying to give you guys more of an update on the next building we're trying to get on this channel um i don't know what it's gonna be i mean i'm honestly thinking get an i8 just because i mean Guys prices guys imagine dealing in IA. It'll be super insane, but we have a daily we have a daily So don't worry. It's not gonna be an IA. It's not gonna be an i3 Um, The i4 actually just came out. It looks pretty dope, but it's not gonna be an i4. No eyes It's either gonna be an M car or an X car or a Z car or possibly um you know, we'll, we'll see. Definitely gonna be something that's gonna be fun and entertaining. I'm definitely considering a B58. I'm just trying to figure out what car, what platform of a B58, like an M240 or a 440 or a B58 Supra. I mean, the Supra, I'm really digging it. Like, I don't know. What you guys think about the Supra? Let me know down below. But yes, guys, if you guys are excited to see the 328i content, just, you know, transforming a basically donated E92 328 um, to like an absolutely insane spec. Like, do you guys wanna see that on the channel? Because um, we have a little bit of lead room with that car, so I do kind of want to do that so let me know down below if you guys want to see something like that but yeah guys that is gonna have to conclude the video um so for those of you guys who actually stick around this long i do want to mention a single product that i am bringing to my website for those of you guys who own the e92 chassis this car actually has the nav and this one actually has the nav on my second channel i'm gonna link it down below i actually did a full nav retrofit for my uh for my boy Arlon's wife uh, so we did a full nav retrofit we even added apple carplay she actually had no nav originally so she had nothing and then we actually upgraded to the cic unit and everything Thing. We actually released the custom harness on my website. So for everyone that's been hitting me up, hey Nord, how do you actually retrofit a CIC, a nav, into a non-nav E90 chassis? Whether it's E91, E90, E92, E93, you can finally retrofit the full nav. You guys do have to get all the parts, um, but that's not the hard part. The hard part is doing the wiring and the coding, and uh, if you get the wiring, that's half the battle. We got the wiring on the website. Links down below. But yeah, guys, that is going to have to conclude the video. So without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.